Hey, welcome back to the garage, everyone. Today's video is on Mercedes-Benz factory service manuals, specifically for the W126 chassis. So quite often I do receive requests, either in comments in my videos or through email, regarding factory service manuals and how to obtain them. Well, today we're going to show you how. Before we get started, I'm using the Chrome web browser on Windows 10. Uh, Flash Player. You see this message right here at the top? It says, Flash Player will no longer be supported after December the 20th. And it asks you if you want to turn it off. Well, we don't because you're going to need it to access this documentation. And I'll show you why right now. So I've already got the link in the web browser. And you can pause the video and copy that down. Once you go to this link, you will get this very 1990s looking website and it will show you 126 chassis disc number one or disc number two. Well, let's click on disc number one first. And as you can see, it is running Adobe Flash. In the top, we can click the skip intro button and we will accept these terms. Clearly, this is a DVD or a CD-ROM disk image library. And here is the Model 126 Service Manual Library. So we hit Continue. And there you have it. Now, a lot of these cars are accessible from Disk 1, and a lot of them are accessible from Disk 2. So if we click More, you'll see even more cars, 350 SDL, 380 SCC, so on and so forth, all the way out to 560 SEC. Now, the later car, a lot of the later cars are on disc two, all right, in this particular um, backup library. Let's, let's pick something pretty basic, uh, 300 SE from 1989. And there is the overview. There's a confirmation message, and we're going to click continue here. We have engine manual, troubleshooting, maintenance, owner's manual, climate control, chassis and body. Let's go to the engine. <laughs> just as an example and let's pick oh i don't know let's pick something like section number five engine timing and valves now once you do that you'll notice that you have this list of sections over on the right hand side if you click more it will cycle through the sections of that particular manual so let's pick removal and installation of the chain tensioner which is uh section number 310 now, once we click on that, it will download a PDF document to your computer, and it should open right away. So let's take a look at what we have here, and we'll minimize, we'll uh, zoom out a little bit so we can see the entire document. All right, so that's just a four-page document on removing and installing the chain tensioner on this particular model car. And you can see it has the various little pictures and all the specifications and all the little steps that you need to do whatever procedure that you're interested in. So let's go back to the main section. All right, so let's say you wanted to access one of the later cars, something like a 1988 560 SEL. Uh, if we click there, you'll note that it says that one is loaded onto the CD marked number two. Now, none of the buttons down below will get you there. These buttons will not get you back to the selection to choose disk 2. So you need to keep your URL handy. And I've got it in the clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it back into the top of the web browser. And there you have it. So hit the enter button. And now we can get back in here and choose disk 2. And we go through this scenario again. We, clip, we uh, click on skip the uh, idiotic intro let's see where's the button this website is very unsophisticated come on where are you there we go accept i mean this is like buying cds from you know your big box computer store in 1995 and this is what you would get okay so now we are on the now if you if you access one of the early cars like let's say the 81 it tells you oh that's on disc one well yeah duh okay because we've selected disc two, right? So I don't know where the cutoff is. I don't know which cars are on disc one and which cars are on disc two. It's really unimportant. All right, so let's go pick a disc two car now, an 88560 SEL, and there we are. So we can get in there and choose our manual. So here's your climate control. There's your climate control, right? 
you go in there and there's your automatic climate control and the various sections associated with that. If you click on one of these, there's section 83-620, testing the circuit, uh, vacuum circuits uh, 1, 2, and 3. So let's click on that and let that document download. You'll get a nice PDF here. That one's about three pages long. Okay. And you can scroll through that. And it, yeah, there's an example of a handy dandy vacuum pod diagram and its various connections. So that will come in very useful, I'm sure. So let's go back again and let's choose that same car, 88560SEL. And let's go to the engine. So that's a big V8 engine. And let's see, crankshaft assembly, uh, number three. Reconditioning and squaring the connecting rods. Let's let that download and see what that looks like. There's a lot of interesting data. Lots and lots of data for doing very complex engine work. Diagrams. And you can see where that would come in very handy. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, to the main screen. Well, there you have it, folks. So if you wanted to download all of the manuals for your specific car, um, this is what you're going to need to do. It's going to be a manual. It's going to be a manual process, and you're going to need to go through each section, one book at a time. Okay, wait for it to open. Exit. Go to the next manual. Wait for it to open. Exit. Go to the next manual. Wait for it to open. Exit. That's going to take you, you know, two or three hours to get the, all of the manuals for your specific car. It's a little work, but it's well worth it. And I've already got manuals for two or three different Mercedes that I don't even own. Because one day, I might be working on some new cars around the garage. You just never can tell. Hey, listen, folks, that's all we got time for today. Just a quick video on how to download your own Mercedes-Benz W126 factory service manuals. You guys take it easy and enjoy working on your classic Mercedes.